Hey guys, cool boy on the way back. I'm Rick. I'm Maggie. And this is Fruits Basket. Last time on Fruits Basket, we met a new character. Yes, we met the tiger, Kisa. Kisa Soma. Yeah, yes. he's so cute, he's a little tiny tiger. <laughs> she had been bullied in middle school and was mute as a result. Mm -hmm. But Toru reached out to her like she does to so many. Yep. And enabled true healing to happen for... Yuki was able to reach her and to make a real good connection there and show her it's okay. Yep. Yuki's also going to run for student council. Yeah. As well. So we'll see how that goes and what shenanigans that'll bring about. Nosebleeds galore. <laughs> but the theme last time was self-love. Um, words die and your heart follows. So it's important to, I guess, keep... Keep... <laughs> you need to be able to connect with people. Yeah. Or else, yeah, you just fade away. Mm. So, let's see what we get into this time. If you want to see the reaction, you can just click on the link in the description or the pinned comment below, and then come back here for the discussion. Let's go! <laughs> All right. So, Ritsu and, Ritsu and Mitsua. Our kindred spirits. Yep. <laughs> Both constantly on the edge of disaster. Death. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> uh, I, it shouldn't, but Mitsuo just makes me laugh so much. She's so funny. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> it's dark. It's so well, wrong, hilarious. But it's so funny. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, this episode Ooh. seemed to theme around, like, hating a part of yourself. And I can definitely imagine Ritsu, maybe some of her, I mean, his behaviors are basically uh, learned off of parents. I've definitely seen that before, where his mom's, like, apologizing constantly because, like, that's how she is. And he learns that, well, obviously, his parents need to apologize for something, and he thinks that they're fine, so it must be him. It's like, oh, I do apologize for everything, so yeah. everything gets terrible. And it's passed down to the next generation of crazies. And they're also searching for meaning mm -hmm. in their lives. And so is Toru. She seemed to identify her meaning with making her mom happy, and her mom's no longer around. Mm -hmm. So she has to find something else. But it looks like she's found it in all the other people in her life. Yeah. And I wonder if the friendship and love that she shares with all the rest of them, if it's measuring up to how much she loved her mom yet. Yeah. Do you think it's funny, though, that uh, Ritsu had, like, heard that Toru is this font of happiness and change? Like, all the other Zodiacs. <laughs> are visiting her, I must now. <laughs> like, I, I'm excited. I need her to fix me. Exactly, it's like, I can't wait till goat, rooster, and horse get there. Oh, oh. This could be soon. Yeah. Have a full set? Yeah, we've got enough episodes, we should get there. We should meet them all. I would imagine. Yeah, I wonder if we'll stick around with Ritsu or Mitsu, or if we will move on. Um, we still need to see the follow-up for the student council elections. Yep. And we still haven't seen Hana-chan's electrical wave backstory. Yeah. Her, like, totally telepathic family. Or totally normal family, and she's just the only one that's like... Yep, we saw Utani's backstory, but not wave girls yet. Hana. But what do you think about the whole, like, living for others thing? Um, I think it's a pretty old concept of, like... The New Testament teaches people to serve others. Yeah. And, you know, that Jesus came to serve others. Yeah. So I think that there's a lot of validation to the idea of... Getting validation through others. Not necessarily that, but just humans thrive the most when they're helping each other. Yeah. Kind of thing. And a human on its own doesn't amount to much. It certainly reflects the Japanese culture of 
community. Yeah. It's a very, very strong community. I mean, it's a slippery slope. Like, you don't want to have no self-worth and only rely on others. Others, too. But get that. I think the other way is bad, too, to just have complete self-worth. You haven't gotten there yet in Mob Psycho 100. She's watching Mob Psycho 100. But it goes into those themes as well in season yeah. two. Because, like, I've, I've never liked the idea of basically adding someone to your life to feel complete. I mean, I... Not not in just, like, a black and white sense, because I, like... I There's people It's like, yeah, it's like, I knew I always wanted to... I wanted to get buried and such. But I also am of the firm mind that, like, if a person's, like, got issues or such, they need to sort themselves out before they try to... It's like, it's kind of like... If your relationship is bad, you shouldn't have a baby to try to fix it, that sort of thing. You shouldn't add to the pile. It's not going to fix things. It's like you need to fix yourself first. But um, but I, I, I guess I'm, I'm okay with the whole helping others thing, as long as it's a little, not, like, not too much of one thing. Just <laughs> mix it all. You got to have a balance. Yeah. I think. <sighs> But the voice was a dead giveaway. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty funny. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to tell, like, sometimes. If <laughs> it's just like... And, you know... It, if the voice actor is bad, or if it's meant to be that way. And in this case, you know, obviously it's it was meant to be, to be that, that way. way. But... <laughs> but it's interesting. It's like, I can understand, like, oh, the clothes. You don't necessarily have to fall side of your voice. Yeah. So it probably goes beyond the clothes that makes him feel comfortable. Well, yeah, he's probably comfortable in the clothes, but he knows people won't accept that, so he poses as a girl, even mm -hmm. if he doesn't feel like a girl, would be my guess. And I wasn't sure, but like when he was having the quiet talk with um, Mitsu, it's, the voice didn't get, wasn't quite so like, <laughs> sort of thing. Yeah, he was a little more himself. Calm and quiet. Yeah, that was a fun episode and a funny one. I laughed a lot. So do you think Shigure is like been slowly like keeping that editor person around and thinking, ah, oh, this reminds me of the person, my family. I should set them up somehow. I don't think so. But he hasn't done that before. I think it's like just a happy coincidence. Hattori. <laughs> uh, go chase away the stalker person. <laughs> He's so evil. Especially this one. It's like he was like just letting the dog out. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, how did that serve his purposes? So I just can't help but believe that like everything's got a purpose now with Shigure. <laughs> but it should be good. Yep. Alright, so that was that one. Come back for the next one. Or don't wait! And watch it right now over at patreon.com slash blindwave. Full length is there as well. Check out twitch.tv slash blindwave. We have many, many, many streams, and they're amazing. Shane and I are going through the Gears of War series right now, trying to get caught up to five. So you don't want to miss it. Check it out. Check the schedule over at twitch.tv slash blindwave.